Uh, what's going on? I thought I'd throw a video together to show you a few quick tips for Adventure Quest Worlds. So let's get into it. I don't wanna die too young. Alright, let's start off the video with how to get free class points, gold, and rep boost for your character. You can do this as a non-member, as a free player without spending any money. Normally, these cost, I think, 50 ACs a piece uh, for a one-hour version. This isn't a one-hour, but it's the best thing you can get for free. So, we're going to slash join Nibble On. So, it's a Mogland version of Battle On. Uh, it was just added this week, that's why I'm making the video right now. And I definitely wanted to get this out so people knew about it in case they didn't play the event or didn't look around in the event. So if you go to this guy and you go to quests, there is a quest. Now there are rewards. You receive one of the following. Gold, class, rep boost. And there's a few scrolls. I'm not sure what those scrolls are for exactly, but I know you can get gold, class point, reputation boost here. Uh, here's a quick guide on how to do this quest. The first thing you'll want to grab is the Mogwin Barriers because they are the closest. So you just run over here into the inn and then go downstairs. So the Dark Makai is right here and there's also a big one. The big one is confirmed to not have any drops even though he has a lot of health. Uh, I guess he's just here so you don't use multi-target classes or I don't know why he's here actually. Just kind of taking up space. I think, I think he's for another quest. Uh, but Mogwin Berries do drop off this Dark Makai. Sometimes it takes a few kills to get the berries. Hopefully we can get them soon. There you go. So Dark uh, Dark Makai drops the Mogwin Berries right there. That's the first thing you need. Now for the other two parts of the quest, the Trilla Nectar and the uh, Nibble Stem. Nibble? Nim, nimble Stem? Uh, those are in two different places. Alright, we'll start at the top of the list. Now that we got the Dark Makai Mogwin Berries. Slash showing closer, something like that. I don't know, it's a made up word. Go in here, up one more. Uh, this guy should have it, but I know for a fact this guy has it. So this guy will drop the stem that you need. I'm not sure if it's a 100% drop rate or not. Doesn't look like it is. So I'll farm here for a little bit, I'll be right back. Okay, instead of farming in Colister, which does work, uh, if you come to Slash Join Mudluck, there's two enemies in the same room and you can get the Nibble Stem a little bit faster uh, because the drop rate was kind of low. It took me a while to actually get this. I did not expect that last piece of the quest. You have to Slash Join Blood Tusk. There we go. It'll take you here to this map. You've probably been here before if you played AQ for any amount of time. Just run up here. Don't go too far up. These plants right here will have the nectar that you need. You need two of those. And then you're done the quest. You can go and turn it in. All right, now we're back in the magic shop. Quest. Uh, so let's, okay, I didn't get all the mongolian berries. One sec. All right, that didn't take any time at all. Let's run back and actually turn in this quest. And then we'll just move on to some cool drops. So, alright. Yes. Quest complete. Let's turn it in. Alright, we got a gold boost for 10 minutes. That's pretty sick. And let's see if it'll let us activate it. Gold boost is non-member. Everything like that. 10 minutes gold boost on our character. You use that. I'd recommend using that before you turn in a big gold quest like a Nolgaf Regiment or something like that. Uh, before you turn that in and get a large amount of gold. That's a really cool set this guy has on, holy. Alright, so since you're already in this shop, you might have seen me accidentally click on this door. There's a secret door right here. And if you click on it, and then you kind of click above it right up there to go in. There's a Doom Kit in here. The Doom Kit has dropped. You can see there's a lot of people farming in here. But uh, if you want to get all the items the Doom Kit has to offer, there is also a quest you might not know about. If you go here... Okay, running is hard in a 2D game because it keeps putting the arrows in a weird place. Alright, talk to this guy, quest, Doom Kitten's treasure. So he tells you about the Doom Kitten, that there's a secret lair in the town. There's a cabinet mouse, a feather wand, and a ball of yarn. I myself have not seen any of these items, but they are available, so you might as well take the quest while you're farming the Doom Kitten anyway. Now, I will show you every drop the Doom Kitten has. 
All right, first off, I'll go through the drops for the quest. The, these are, you need the quest to get these drops. There's three different drops. The ball of yarn, the catnip mouse, and the feather wand. So those are three drops from the quest. Not really that good, but uh, maybe you're wearing like cat ears or something like that, or you got like a cat themed set going on and you want a ball of yarn or something. That could be kind of a cool uh, item to have if you're going for like a cat set something like that. Yeah, it might be cool Now as far as the drops from the doom kitten itself go there are a lance. There is a lance There's a Sword and shield looking thing it's not really a shield kind of just a spinning little sigil uh, the cape I'm wearing is of course from the boss and uh, there's also just a sword by itself, the Guardian Blade. So if you just want the sword. And that's all for weapons. For armors, we have one armor, the Nibelon Guardian. Right there, matches of course the sword and the cape. Has that a nice cool scarf there. Pretty cool. The boss drops three different helmets to match the armor. You got the closed one. Uh, the ears should wiggle a little bit along with the tail. And if you scroll down, there's two more in your inventory if you farm. The open face and the like half on, I guess, kind of thing. You can see the ear has a little animation on there. And then of course for caves, we've got the Nimble on Guardian Wings. And that should be all. Uh, don't think any pets drop from the guy. The pet I have right here is from the pet shop in Slash Join Nimble on. And uh, yeah, that is all. So thank you for watching this video. Hopefully it helped you out. Uh, good luck farming those boosts and all that stuff, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Subscribe for more videos like this. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.